Now, you may notice that I'm kneeling on the ground. Now, well, that's because my off-roading truck decided to not work today. So I'm to currently taking the little work truck around and it just doesn't sit very high because if I stand up, I'm not gonna be in the screen. So today I'm gonna be doing a review on the Wisport Reindeer 75 liter rucksack. Now, this is built for the Finnish and Swedish military. And because the Marine Corps uses a crap pack that distributes the weight completely wrong, I was looking into getting a pack that distributed the weight better, didn't weigh as much, and wouldn't, wouldn't cost me too much money. So I found this pack, and I'm actually quite pleased with it. Um, as I said, this is the Wisport Reindeer 75 liter. Um, and overall, it's a great pack. So when I was looking online for reviews on this pack, I couldn't find any because it's really made mainly for Europe and other countries. So all the reviews were either in German or Dutch or other languages I couldn't understand. So I figured, heck, there are probably other guys who are either looking into this pack or already have this pack and would like to hear a little bit about it before they spend their money. So today, we're just going to look at this pack. Um, a general overview of it, what it can do, and hopefully it will give you a better idea of whether this is a pack you want to buy. Let's get started. So this pack right here is, as I said, it's 75 liters. Um, and I currently have it set up how I would um, if I were going to be uh, marching with the Marine Corps. So it's actually a very versatile pack. That's what I really like about it. I was really surprised at how many options it had and how much it actually held when I got it. So as you can see, it is coyote brown. Now, it's not an exact coyote brown color match to the gear that the Marine Corps issues. Um, it's just simply because they use a slightly different fabric. However, it's a close enough color match that nobody's going to give you any crap about it unless you happen to have a very particular staff sergeant who just hates you and wants to find anything to mess with you. But other than that, you're going to be just fine with the color for this pack. Um, so first of all, one thing that's cool is it has straps for your Kevlar. So I've strapped my Kevlar. I don't know if some of you may remember the old Marpat Ilby packs. Um, that they used to issue, which had the straps right here in the middle for your Kevlar. Well, this one has straps slightly near the bottom, um, but it still works great to uh, strap your Kevlar on. Um, it's out of the way, it's, it's on there nice and securely with these cross straps that, that simply strap it down across the Kevlar like that. Um, I really like that. I was really pleased when I found that because I was wondering how I was going to get my Kevlar in here. Um, another thing is with this one, your Thermarest is going to be on the top of the pack. Um, theoretically, you could find a way to strap it on the bottom, but it fits really nicely on the top. Um, for me, it's easier to get to. It's just a great place to keep it. Um, it doesn't really matter to me whether it's on the bottom or the top. And on this pack, they made the spot for it on the top. So those are the external things that you're going to have on this pack. So I'm just going to take those off so they're not in the way for showing you the rest. Okay, so in this pack, I currently have pretty much everything I would carry with me on a field op. Um, and as you can see, it all fits. In fact, it not only does it all fit, but it actually has more room. I can fit my flak in this with everything on it. So that's magazine, dump pouch, um, hydration, everything on the flak actually fits inside this pack. Now, I don't have it inside this pack right now, um, but it does fit there. I've got, put it in there before. What's the, the beauty of this pack is that it actually expands to much larger than you would think, just like the, uh, the pack that they issue with the Marine Corps. Um, so you can see that this top here, this actually has several straps. So this can go up another like foot to, uh, to fit anything you want here. So for me, I just lay my flak on top of everything because it's usually the thing you need first. So I would lay it right here and then strap this down. And it's got these tie down straps in the front that really allow you to cinch it tight and, um, and just do a really good job with it. One other thing that's really cool about this pack is it has your MRE pouches actually fixed to the pack and on the side. So you don't have to deal with your hydration pouches and your those other random pouches they give you when you get your uh, when you get your main pack in the Marine Corps. You gotta you gotta molly those things on your pack and sometimes you take them off, sometimes you don't. But this one actually has them fixed on. So it's got two of them and they're perfect size to fit an MRE. Um, so you can fit two MREs right on the side here without having to worry about anything. Um, or you can put whatever random crap you want there. I always put my hygiene kit in one and then my MREs in the other one. Um, another thing you can do is put your camel back right on the center here. So it actually has um, a few rows of molly right here in the front, which is perfect for strapping your camel back on there or even another random pouch. You can put a hydration pouch on there. You can put, really put any pouch you want on there. As with every military pack, it has your canteen pouches. So you could theoretically put two canteens on the sides, though I don't know who still uses canteens. 
Um, down here on the bottom, you have a section. So this is where the Kevlar, your, uh, your Kevlar would go. But you can unzip this to access your sleeping system in the bottom of your pack. Um, that's pretty standard with most packs, but you'd be surprised what packs don't have them. Um, so turning around to the other side, one thing I really like about this pack is that, that it keeps the weight really close to your back. So many of you will notice that the, uh, the pack currently issued in the Marine Corps, it, it, there's, like, there's like six inches of space between your back and the weight, which is just really bad. It's, it's bad for your back, it's bad for the load, it's bad for everything because it just makes it a lot harder to carry. Well, this one keeps it right next to your back. Um, there's not a whole lot of space there, so it's gonna keep it really well. And one really cool thing is this one is super easily adjusted. So the Marine Corps pack, as you know, is very difficult to adjust for whether you're a tall guy or a short guy. Or This one can be adjusted at almost any time. So you actually, you have two straps right here in the center. And all you have to do is pull those tight or pull them loose. And this whole thing slides in here. The, uh, the shoulder piece actually slides, is free floating on two metal rods that go up and down. And then the rods go into your waist belt to allow the weight to be on your waist. Um, so all you have to do is loosen these straps up here and either tighten or loosen these to adjusting to your height. So obviously I'm a tall guy, so I want it at pretty much full height. Um, but if I were a little bit shorter, I could slide this down, I could slide it up, I could really do anything I want. Um, that's a really cool feature for this pack. It's also, obviously, it has a little bit of space in here for the air to get through. But like with the current issued Marine Corps pack, too much space is a bad thing. I mean, it's great to be able to get airflow, you know, on your back. But overall, you want the weight as close to your back as possible because that distributes the weight down onto your hips and allows you to carry your weight much easier and much more efficiently without putting strain on your spine and your back. Well, as I said, um, I could fit a lot more gear in here, but I wanted to show you how much gear is actually already in here. Um, as I said, it is a 75 liter pack, which is a standard size, but I've been surprised because I, I got it quite a few packs before I settled on this one um, because I was looking for something that would be reliable, I could use on deployments that wouldn't crap out on me but also wouldn't weigh a thousand pounds, the standard issue Marine Corps pack does. And again, I'm an avid backpacker and I use packs all the time. So it's, I don't just use this for military, I use this for everything, which is why I was gonna spend a little bit more money and get a pack that I really liked. Um, so I just wanna show you how much gear I actually have in here right now. Um, just to show you how much this actually holds because it still has a lot more room in here. So I've got my inflatable thermarest, which I showed you in another video, check that out. Um, I've got cami trousers, I've got um, a towel, I've got my waterproofing sacks, I've got my Gore-Tex top and bottom, I've got my rifle sling, I've got <clears throat> my field tarp, I've got my fleece, I've got my um, long underwear, frog suit, whatever you want to call it. I got another of my fleece trousers. I've got more long underwear. I've got um, more tr uh, more camis and my freaking uh, whatever skull cap and neck gaiter and all that crap. And then I've got my, finally in the bottom here, I have my complete sleeping system. This has my poncho liner, my sleeping bag, my Gore-Tex sack, this has everything in it, all in the compression sack. So you can see that this is a lot of gear here. Um, this is pretty much everything you're gonna need for most field ops or when you're out in the field. Um, and I can easily fit my flak with all of its gear, my, uh, my mag pouches, drop pouch, hydration pouch, everything on there as well. Um, my camelback goes right on the outside and this, all, this stuff goes on the inside. I have plenty of room for a couple extra pairs of camis, um, plenty of room for really anything else I need. Um, in addition, that's not even counting the external pouches. I've got my MRE pouches on the outside. I've got room to put another pouch on the front here. Um, and then I've got also um, my, the headspace in the top of the pouch here. So hopefully that showed you that this pack holds a lot more than you'd think. It doesn't look very big, but it really holds a lot of stuff. Um, it's everything you're gonna need for a Marine Corps pack, uh, main pack, and it, it weighs a lot less. The, um, the Marine Corps standard issue pack weighs about 10 pounds, just empty, dead weight. This one weighs about four pounds. That's six less pounds that you have to carry right there. And that's six less pounds, that, that's six more pounds of food or gear you can carry without having to worry about it. Um, in addition to that, it distributes the weight much closer to your back. It's just all around a better pack for daily use. 
questions, comments, anything you want to know about it, where you can buy it, uh, put those in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. Have a great day, everybody.